Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Madam Chairman, Chair, and thank you all for being here. Um, Secretary Blinken, have you, uh, have you ever visited any of the 15 Pacific Island nation states? I have, yes. They're wonderful people, aren't they? Uh, I would agree. Um, and, and they have well-placed pride in their countries, do they not? They do. Right. Um, can, can we agree that these 15 independent um, Pacific Island nation states are just that? They're, they're independent countries? They're not just dots that some world leaders see out of their plane windows when they are traveling to meetings elsewhere? That, that is correct. Um, and can we agree that, uh, that China is making a concerted effort to try to bring these independent countries within the ambit of the Communist Party of China? We can. Can we agree that America should have a deeper Strike that. Let me rephrase that, Mr. Secretary. Putting China aside, do you, do you agree with me that um, it is the uh, prudent and moral thing to do to, uh, to have deeper engagement with our fellow countries in the, in, in the Pacific, particularly in terms of trade and investment? Very much so, Senator, yes. Would you support showing the 15 island, 15 Pacific Island nation states the respect and dignity that they deserve by creating an ambassadorship just for these 15 uh, Pacific Island nation states to be appointed by the President of the United States and confirmed by the United States Senate? Senator, something that we're, we're looking at, but let me just put this in context. As you rightly said, these are independent sovereign countries, which is exactly why uh, we have been uh, engaged in a very intense effort to actually get embassies and to have ambassadors in more of these countries. And as you know, right now, we've opened an embassy in the Solomon Islands. Uh, we've opened one in Tongo. Uh, we have one pending in Kiribati. Uh, and we're also doing the same thing in Vanuatu. So having these bilateral ambassadors is critical. As you also know, uh, President Mr. Biden. Mr. Secretary, can I interrupt you? Yeah, please. I'm, I'm really so, sorry, but we, we have limited time. Please. And, and I've, I've, I have followed the, uh, the, the efforts of the Biden administration in this regard. But what I'm talking about is appointing and not relying on, on other envoys or ambassadors. I'm talking about creating a new ambassadorship uh, for the 15... Pacific Island nation states appointed by the president and confirmed by the Senate who would spend her or his time traveling to all of the mm. island states talking about trade, investment, and listening. So, Senator, I'd say two things to that. One, I think it is important that we continue to engage these uh, countries independently given their independence. Arms. But to your point, and I agree, this is important, we have appoint, appointed a senior envoy to the Pacific Islands Forum. This is the main body, as you know, that brings all of these islands together. We appointed someone who's a deeply experienced but ambassador. But it's not who served, created in law, is it, Mr. Secretary? It's not. It's an appointment by the, by the Secretary of State. Okay. That's correct. So a new president could come in and say, we don't want to do this anymore. Could That's he, correct. Could she or he not? That is correct. What I'm talking about, if, if the Pacific Island countries are so important, and I think they are, and I think I've heard you mm -hmm. say they are, let me ask you again, would you support creating an ambassador, ambassador level status? I don't care what you call it, mm. but it wouldn't be an ambassador level status appointed by the president and confirmed by the United States Senate. What's wrong with that? I, I would just say, Senator, that first, the senior envoy that we have, who is a former ambassador to several of these countries, um, in effect, fulfills that, that function. Um, so that's important. But he's not an ambassador. He's appointed by a president. 
I'm talking about making this permanent. Why, well, why, why of course, a future president to... could decide not to appoint an ambassador at any given country. Well, but, but why that. wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to embed this in the law if and and give the Pacific Island countries the respect they deserve? I'd be happy to to pursue this with you. I think what we're hearing. I just from... happen to have a bill, Mr. Secretary. Uh -huh, yeah, I'm ha and very happy to look at it yeah, and come back to you on it. Would you? Uh, yes, I, I really you, think that we have not given. I'm not criticizing you or your team. I, I, I just think that we haven't given the, these countries the respect they deserve. And the best way to do that would be to give them a permanent ambassador. I think we should pursue this conversation because I'd really welcome doing that. What I'm, I'm going to put you down as yep. a yes. <laughs> put you, to talk about it, absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator.